Welcome to the 2016 Fall Diecast Nationals from Basement International Speedway. 64 of the world's most competitive tiny cars are lined up to fight it out in this single elimination tournament. Now let's go trackside to join in our national anthem. Get him the hell out of here, will you please? Get him out of here! Get out! Okay, we of course apologize for that performance. We're going to have to work on vetting our anthem uh, singers more closely next time. And as we take a look through the field, let's take a look at who did not qualify for this race. Brought to you by Sonic. Stop in and try our new corndog slushie. Sonic, America's drive-in. Yeah, let's take a glimpse at our track backs. Brought to you by Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, pretty short track, not a lot of turns, not a lot of banking, not a lot of information about anything. It's brought to you by Sonic, gotta go fast. And a glimpse of the previous winners of our event, brought to you by Sonic, America's drive-in. We had Parker Klugerman take the flag in his inaugural running in 2014, and Jeff Gordon in a bizarre race last year, 2015, where he crossed the line alone. His previous winners brought to you by Sonic. Come in and try our new chili cheese dog tot Sunday, only at Sonic, America's drive-in. Starting command has been given. Let's go down trackside. It's time to race. Our 16 car ARCA bracket will be run first, starting here with Sarah Cornette Ching on the inside, Bobby Gerhardt on the outside. A close race. We'll take a look at the replay, and it's Cornette Ching by a bumper. Now, next up, we've got Josh Williams on the inside, John West Townley, Zach Speed's Machine on the outside. Not quite as close. Going to be John West moving on. Now we've got Spencer Gallagher against Justin Boston. A little trouble out of the gate for Boston. Gallagher wins easily. Here we've got Matt Tipped on the inside and William Byron in the number 55. Liberty Toyota on the outside and Byron will win. A little problem pre-race here for David Levine. Improper windshield name up there in his car. He had to be penalized. He's going to go up against Michael Lira in the similarly designed Lira Motorsports cars. And Michael will advance. Now here's Justin. Don't call me JJ Haley on the inside. Will Kimmel on the outside. Kimmel moves on. Here we've got ARCA champion Chase Briscoe in the 77 against former ARCA champion Mason Mitchell. And Mason Mitchell is going to move on again. Here we've got Grant Enfinger, the 90, against Gus Dean, the 98 on the outside. Two similar looking cars again. Take a look at the replay. Oh, apparently Gus Dean gets there first. Matter of millimeters. Gus Dean's going to move on. End of the round of 32, we've got Sarah Cornette Ching on the inside, John West Halley on the outside, another close finish. This one's going to go to Cornette Ching. Here we've got Gallagher against William Byron, and Spencer Gallagher is going to advance again. Next up, Michael Lira against Will Kimmel. Slow start for Lira. He's unable to recover in time. Will Kimmel will move on. Now, Gus Dean against Mason Mitchell, and Mitchell, once again this year, will advance. Next, our first race in the Sweet 16 is brought to you by Carl's Jr., Here's Sarah Cornette Ching on the inside, Spencer Gallagher on the outside. Gallagher's going to keep moving on. And next, our other race in the Sweet 16 is brought to you by Carl Edwards. That's right, Carl Edwards, if you're looking for a driver, you're looking for him. It's going to be Will Kimmel on the inside, Mason Mitchell on the outside. Mitchell keeps on going. And now there's a problem. Mason Mitchell is not reported to the starting grid for his race. We're going to take a look back at the completion of his last race. Our camera crew believes they've spotted him. He has gone completely off the track, hidden out of sight. Yeah, there's the car. My goodness, he's going to need a tow to get out of there. Looks like he's going to resort to using a backup car for the race. Well, here we go. The finals in the ARCA division. And it's Mason Mitchell advancing to the semifinal round once again, the second straight year. Well, now he'll have to wait and see... Who he's going to face in our three NASCAR divisions. First up, Ryan Priest on the inside. Kenny Wallace on the outside. It's going to be Ryan Priest. Next up, Jamie McMurray on the inside. Brad Keselowski on the outside. Close run. It's going to be Brad. Next we got Ross Chastain in the four. Bubba Wallace in the six. Ross Chastain will keep moving. And now we've got Regan Smith on the inside. Danica Patrick on the outside. She recovers after a slow start and she'll move on. Next, Casey Mears on the inside. Tony Stewart on the outside. Oh, problems. Casey Mears upside down in the gate. Take a look at our Zaxby's crash cam, see exactly what happened here. Well, he was riding the rail there, and looks like he took him all the way into the gate. Flips him over, he's out. 
Now here's Brandon McReynolds in his k and West Series car on the inside. Greg Biffle on the outside. And little Brandon Mack's going to move on. Next, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. in the inside. Daniel Suarez on the outside. Easy win for Suarez. Here's Kyle Busch against Matt Kenseth. Trouble out of the gate for Matt Kenseth. He's hung up on the gate. Outside track simply never went. He's going to be eliminated, obviously. Our next up, a battle k and drivers. Daniel Hemrick and Greg Galding. And this time, Galding gets caught up in the other lane. He's going to need a push to continue on, but be long after Daniel Hemrick takes the checkers. Next up, Trevor Bain against Alex Bowman. And it's Bowman that'll move on. And, of course, coming up next, we've got returning champion Jeff Gordon on the inside lane and Kyle Benjamin on the outside. Gordon's going to move on yet again. Next up, Nelson BK on the inside. Dylan Kwasneski on the outside. Kwasneski bumps off the Brazilian. Now, here we've got Ken Schrader against Ryan Ellis. And slow start for Ellis. Schrader's going to blow him away. Schrader will advance. Next up, a battle of the two foreign drivers. Ron Fellas, the Canadian. Max Pappas, the Italian. Close race. Max Pappas is going to move on. And, uh, 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 oh, a little hesitation out of the starter. And for some reason, our camera crew does not pick up the finish, so apparently J.J. Yaley has won over David Reagan. Now it's David Gilland on the inside lane in the Haas car of Kurt Busch on the outside, and the 41 of Kurt Busch will move on here. Next up, Brennan Poole on the inside. Eric Almirola on the outside. Close. It's going to be Brennan Poole. Now here's Brian Scott against Jimmy Johnson. And Brian Scott knocks off the NASCAR champ. Here we've got Kyle Larson against Donnie Neuenberger. Close race, but Larson's going to beat Neuenberger. I don't know where we found him. And Travis Pastrana on the inside here against Brendan Gaughan. And the X Games star will knock off the South Point driver. Now here's inaugural champion Parker Clearman on the inside. Landon Castle on the 83 on the outside. Not nice 83. Clearman will move on once again. Here's Dale Earnhardt Jr. against Ben Rhodes, and Ben Rhodes in the 88 will move on here. Getting up into the 90s, here's Travis Quaffle against Michael McDowell, and Quaffle will advance easily. And to close out the opening round, here's Rico Abreu in the K&N 98 against Cup 98 of Josh Wise, the Dogecoin car. Wise will bump him off. That's going to do it for the round of 64. Oh, we don't have commercials? Okay, we'll cut back. Uh, here we are, back for the... Round of 32 of the 2016 Fall Diecast Nationals, where a change has taken place. Yes, in an effort to spice up the racing, we have added the Carl Box at the end of the drop. And as you can see here in our cutaway Carl Box, it is a box with a Carl Edwards car disassembled inside. May add some excitement. We'll see how the first race goes here. Brad Keselowski, Ryan Priest. Oh, trouble for Priest. Big, big trouble for Ryan Priest. Brad Keselowski won this race. Ryan Priest on his side as he comes to the line. Oh, hits the gate roof first. That'll eliminate him. Thanks to our Zaxby's crash cam there. Now let's take a look at Ross Chastain on the inside. Danica Patrick on the outside. A little hesitation. And Ross Chastain shot out of a canyon. Now wait a minute. Now he switched lanes. You can't do that. Ross Chastain hops the tracks. He'll be disqualified. Danica Patrick will advance. He crosses over into her lane. Well, back to the action. Here's Tony Stewart against Brandon McReynolds. And Tony Stewart edges him. Close run. Both a little wobbly at the line. Now here we've got a pair of 18s. Daniel Suarez and Kyle Busch. Suarez advances. And we take a look at the replay. Big air for both cars. Karlbach certainly adding some excitement. Here's Daniel Hemrick against Alex Bowman. Oh! Big problems. Daniel Hemrick. So we take a look in our crash cam as he gets near the line, flipping wildly past the finish. Never makes it to the gate. He's gone. Now as we move on, here's Jeff Gordon against Dylan Kwasneski. Oh, problems. Both cars off the track once they cross the line. Now let's take a look at a replay here. Gordon bangs through the gate. They both seem to be jumping and wobbling in their lanes. Take another look. Big air. And Gordon rattles through. They both lose control after crossing through the line. We take a look at the aftermath. Now next up, Ken Schrader on the inside. Max Pappas on the outside. Down the slope they go. And Pappas advances. Schrader loses control. We take a look. Oh, big problem. Ken Schrader up into the outside wall. And now the match between J.J. Don't Call Me Justin Yaley and Kurt Busch. Ooh! Another impact across the finish line. 
So we can see Yaley cleans out Kurt after Kurt's won the race, attempting to jostle for position despite being confined to their lane. Now here's Brendan Poole against Brian Scott. Down they go. Big lead for Poole. Oh! He's down. We're going to have to take a look at our Zaxby's crash cam. And Poole makes it there first. Strikes the gate. Doesn't cross. Lands upside down. Brian Scott makes it through, then spins out for some reason, but it's enough to get him through to the next round. As here we've got Kyle Larson on the inside, Travis Pastrana on the outside. Now Larson advances in a clean race. Next up, Parker Kligerman in the 77, Ben Rhodes in the 88. Whoa, Kligerman off track. Did he make it? Let's take a look again. He... No. No, Kligerman did not cross through. But Ben Rhodes decided to take out his gate instead, sacrificing himself for Parker, apparently. Next here's Travis Quaffle against Josh Wise. Looks like Josh Wise is going to be the victor. Took a look at our replay. A little wobbly through. Both out of control once they cross, but Josh Wise will win this race, uh, despite incurring some damage there at the end. And the sanctioning body would like to apologize for the teams for the addition of the Carl Box, uh, which will be immediately removed prior to the Sweet 16 round. We apologize for all the damage and uh, crashing that has come along with it. Uh, it was unforeseen and uh, detrimental to the quintessential sanctity of the Fall Diecast Nationals. And now the first race in the reconfigured track in the Sweet 16. This race brought to you by Winston. I mean, uh, Candy Cigarettes. Oh, Danny Kapatrick squarely out of the box. Keselowski will win. And this next race brought to you by Bed Goods Bail Bonds. It's going to be Tony Stewart on the inside. Daniel Suarez on the outside, who's going to advance. Mexican-American standout beats Tony Stewart. And next up, next race brought to you by Big Daddy's Barbecue Sauce. It's going to be Jeff Gordon bumping off Alex Bowman. This race between Max Pappas and Kurt Busch, sponsored by the Cup Series sponsor in 2017. And Max Pappas will move on again. And next race, sponsored by Scott's All-Purpose Rags in a Box. It's Brian Scott on the inside, Kyle Larson on the outside, and Brian Scott's dream run will continue. He's moving on to the Elite Eight. Josh Wise has made the proper repairs to his car. He's ready to go up against Parker Kligerman. This race brought to you by Rob Kaufman's Charter Services and Close Race. Josh Wise wins. We're going to have to take a closer look at that. Now we'll move on to the Elite Eight round, featuring Brad Keselowski and Daniel Suarez up first. Let's see who advances. Close out of the box, but Suarez will move on. Oh, that is a disgusting act by Daniel Suarez, swerving his tires to reset the body to pass inspection. Nothing we can do about it now. And back in the Elite Eight, uh, we see Jeff Gordon knock off the Italian Max Pappas. And the final run, of Brian Scott on the inside, Josh Wise on the outside. Brian Scott keeps on going. And that brings us to our final four, brought to you by Trading Paints. First up, we're going to have Daniel Suarez against ARCA champion and returning semifinalist Mason Mitchell, who crashed out last year, leaving Jeff Gordon alone in the finals. Let's see if he can redeem himself. A little buckle from Suarez, and Mitchell will win! Close race at the line. Suarez had a little trouble getting out of the box. Mason Mitchell seizes upon it, and this year he will advance. And next in the other brackets, we have returning champion Jeff Gordon against Brian Scott. Here they come! Dead heat at the line, but Jeff Gordon wins again! Strong match all the way to the finish. Gordon, once again, will advance to the championship, where this time, he'll go up against Mason Mitchell. And it's absolutely unbelievable that in a full field of 64, two of the same drivers make it to the semifinals two years in a row, and Gordon is in the finals two years in a row. But can he do it again, going up against Mason Mitchell, and away they go! Who's going to get here first? Gordon! Jeff Gordon wins it again! Unbelievable! Absolutely unbelievable! If I was smarter, I would have rigged the finish. Gordon wins in 2015, fair and square. Gordon wins in 2016, fair and square. And the man who refuses to retire takes his place in Basement International Speedway's victory lane. I'd like to thank you all for watching this year. So from all of us, and by all of us I mean me, who spent the last two weeks editing this, thank you, and see you again next time.